All right, welcome back. So um, today I'm going to be doing a video on why I decided to go for um, a smart probes, the Testo smart probes. And this is the first generation um, smart probe kits. It's the 549Is and the um, 115Is. Two back to my um, digital manifolds, which I've got the S-Man 480s here. And um, first reason which is probably the biggest reason I'd say um, is going to be just the fact that it has it encompasses everything like essentially I've got it's got hoses I mean I do keep a hose on my bag I don't know if you watch my um you know my bag video but I do keep an actual refrigerant hose so I can charge with these here but this actually this just having everything you need all in one uh, multiple hoses it, it really does make a difference. Just gives you a little bit more peace of mind and makes you feel a little bit more, um, I guess, just organized in the field. One of the major things I actually don't really like about these, and it might not be the same with the new generation, but the, um, the clamps, the battery, either you have to keep one battery out of it at all times until you're ready to use it, which is a pain, because what happens is um, by the time you go to use it, I, I mean, I just put some batteries in this thing last week and the battery is already dead. Uh, three batteries, AAA batteries. So essentially, it's either got some kind of phantom draw or it just keeps cutting on in my bag. So it's kind of a nuisance. Also, I like the, the fact that this has got an outdoor temp sensor built in, K-type, which is just the standard K-type thermal couple here. Uh, so if you were to use these here You would have to have a separate outdoor sensor or you can just use a just a regular I'm sure everybody's got a thermocouple of some sort digital uh, thermocouple um, You know on their bag or on their person at any given time. So that's not a big deal. I also like the valve for charging refrigerant um, when I charge with these here I just use the actual um, the valve on the can the uh, refrigerant canister and I mean when it's upside down it's just kind of a little bit hard to access when it's upside down on the scale and uh, I mean I could also just get you know like a ball valve that goes on the end of my hoses but that's how I've just been doing it so also this valve just feels a little bit more uh, just sensitive when releasing refrigerant all right, the third thing, which is um, probably pretty obvious, is just the fact that these here are standalone. This is a standalone system. It works with Measure Quick or you know the Field Piece Field Piece app, but it also can be used um, basically by itself. And you can also sync the psychrometers up to this, and you know get wet bulb, um, real time superheat. Um, calculations and basically just a host of other features so just the fact that this can be used without any kind of app uh, without any kind of app is, is super powerful and um, sometimes it come in handy I mean a lot of times I've been in places where and it only happens with measure quick but the update screen on measure quick if you have no Wi-Fi signal and you try to open up measure quick it will not open until you've got signal so you can get really caught up in a jam, a bad jam, if you're trying to use these wireless probes um, exclusively um, and with with Measure Quick. That is so. Hopefully, that's something they can look into and rectify. The other major thing I love about these S Mans um, over this first generation Testo Smart Probe Kit is just a 350 foot range. Um, essentially, and that's pretty much the biggest I'd say reason why I, I've gone back to using these um, essentially these S this first generation s men are pretty much unusable um, if you're trying to I mean don't, I don't want to say they're unusable they're just I just don't I don't like it after after using these s mans with a 300 foot range like these things probably but you'll be you'll be lucky if you get 15 feet away from these things without them dropping out on you which is absolutely a joke. Um, 
it's no point of even being wireless with that type of uh, range capability. So yeah, this 300 foot range, 350 foot range on these S bands is um, super powerful, especially when you're trying to uh, diagnose, uh, you know, complex issues um, with, um, you know, on the refrigerant side of a system. They just really make a difference, make your life a lot more simple and just more convenient when trying to diagnose issues. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, there aren't many, I guess, benefits over using um, digital manifolds over smart probes. Uh, essentially, the main reason why I'm switching over is just the distance, because I've already had these before, and I just don't feel that, I just, the reason why I upgraded to this, to the s man instead is because, like I said, it's just, for the money, for your money you're paying, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck, and um, they're just a lot more versatile. Like, but um, essentially, you the distance, and like I said, just having uh, backup hoses, because you know I've had it to where I've had one hose in my bag, and you know the O-ring failed, or especially with these no-loss hoses, sometimes they'll get seized up, and it won't. You can't turn this this um, outer ring. And you're just stranded without a hose. You gotta go all the way back to the truck and grab a hose. So just having, it just gives you a lot more peace of mind having a full system. Uh, I just feel a lot more comfortable using these. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you have any opinions or thoughts on it, or yeah, uh, just let me know in the comments below what you prefer: uh, manifolds or smart probes. And um. You know, if you've had any similar experiences in the field, because it's pretty, it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough decision. I will say, because sometimes I get conflicted. I want to invest in a new, new set of probes and kind of see if it's just the distance that I'm really, the um, range that I'm really having a problem with. So let me know in the comments below. All right, thanks. Bye now.